Okay, today I thought I'd make a commentary about my solo character. Um, I'm in Exoteria, in Red Alliance space, and I tackled Agila, Sonsepto, and the second one dropped in. Healers are kind of dangerous for me in my character because I'm not fast enough, enough to avoid drones. So I lined out, shoot the drones. Um, the drones are going for my scepter and for the reds. Even since the character is the only DPS on crit. in to scram the scepter. Yeah, so the killer can kill the attacker. Um, yeah. The other killer put two acolytes out. And I put my drones on the acolytes, was reloading. And a crusader popped in. Crusader is kind of dangerous for my scepter and for me because it's fast and uh, if it has a scram and scrams my scepter, my scepter will die in seconds. And for my character, I was in half reload, so if he would scram me and the killer decided to shoot me, I would die in seconds too. The character has 20k EHP, so nothing. Really. Yeah, and here the Crusaders running in for me and got a scram, but I'm totally fine with that. I had a full clip loaded, uh, all the stuff is on range to scram me and here you see the crusader burning out because of the heavy DPS. I didn't realize that early enough to kill him, um, so I'm very lately burning back to him. Couldn't get a point, so he pops off. And yeah, I was back in reload. I had a big lag, which was kind of weird. Even like only on that account. Um, and yeah, the cinnabel is burning for me, and the dummy is in MJD range. But since I'm doing 3K right now. The MJ deed but 30 off. He will mute me, but since I have a cap booster, uh, I don't really care about that. That's why I like the cap booster instead of the web on the character. And I decided to burn myself to my characters uh, because we have a fight running and I don't want the killer DPS on crit. Scepter got muted by the dummy when I passed the dummy. I grabbed the circle for a second and had to pop out my scepter. Yeah. But the crusader's back in and I decided to go for the crusader. The cinnabar didn't realize that the scram is off and now he's burning way too late and after I saw the crusader pulling range I directly pulled behind him. It was pretty late in bopping out so I got a point on him and it was just me and the uh, cinnable there. The cinnable was getting a lot of damage but I was focusing on my Sceptor to get him back, so the snowball dropped off badly. I just tried to get something tackled again, so they pop in back, but they all drop out in a second.
Uh, five minutes later, I tackled another healer in another system. Um, he didn't have drones outside because I thought it was a bait, or maybe he pulled them in to warp off and didn't warp off. I really know. So I directly shot him with my character, and he was super squishy for a healer. Cleaning a lot of armor, doing the same mistake, putting the drones on my scepter. But we see here my scepter is dying in two hits uh, because I bombed into the stone structure, which is super annoying. Yeah. And yeah, because of that, I don't have a safe tackle on him. As soon as he puts the Gila drones on me, I'm gonna bleed a lot of. Healed. But before he really kills me, uh, he pops out. But I was out the sept on quit, I couldn't told him. So if he stayed, uh, I had to warp off. No. I tried to follow him since he was in structure already. And I know he was squishy. I sadly didn't got him. And throw with my character to the staging of them. Uh, I get a fight there since the 20 mil character, or 30 mil character. And I don't have anything to lose, and I already got a kill, so why not? Uh, I saw the Ishku and the Manin. The Manin is kinda dangerous, it's working me pretty well, even with full speed and good orbit. But the Ishku is a nice kill and I tried to get him didn't burn into me it can be very dangerous with uh, ADC and uh, like heating when I land but he decided to do nothing so they don't quit didn't done anything too the manum landed so I pulled range, saw the wagon locking or bumping to the keepster. And pretty much pulling some more range. Another Merlin popped in. Merlin is a spicy target, no MVD bonus on signature. Um and tech one resistance and since we are in an electric storm with minus 25 em there's like no em at all so i tried to go to the ess so they can follow me and the, the freaks were kind of slow they are landing pretty late and Manon is on these again and it will land together with the Merlin there's the Manon and the Merlin a second later and the nose is joined yeah. like I said the Manon is dangerous but most of the time the people use the fleet Manon so it has no tackle just max tank and I just went for the Merlin put some range because a lot of stuff is actually warping in and yeah after I realized the Merlin is squishy I went back in and he died pretty quick didn't even go to wrap out or anything um, I have 40 misses left so I went for the Ichiko the Ichiko is dying pretty quick and I tried to catch him on the way out, fly into his way out, and it kind of worked. In in the last second, I got a point, but he died anyways. 
And yeah, I'm warping out because there are way too many cruisers, like three characters, and I don't have any buffer. Or like any EHP. I warped back in after they all popped out and saw the heretic here. Uh, the manual is directly warping back in. And yeah, I'm trying to burn for the heretic. But because my scepter died earlier and he's not back yet, uh, I can't get a scrim on him, so he burns away faster than me. He's bubbling, I don't know why he's bubbling, he's just bubbling himself, so would be an easy catch with the Sept on crit. At that point I hope he was running into me to get a spam on me, but he was just aligning to the structures, so I stopped shooting and uh, tried to follow him, but he's still faster than me and even heating right now. The phantasm is burning in and kind of fast. Uh, and I hope he would be hunted a man. I looked at him, looked at his tailboard. And sadly, I didn't saw a phantasm lost in the few seconds I had. Uh, but he's not getting any more speed, so he could be a 50 man fit or like a super plingy 10 man with like boosted uh, on the keepster before he popped in. I don't know, but yeah. yeah. He's super fast. I'm aligning out and reloading. I'm testing his tank in a second to see if he's squishy, but after the first missile hit and the second one I saw like there's no way I can kill him in time before the manin uh, is back in to DPS me, so I just popped off. Yeah, back on the ESS grid, uh, everything cleared out, just the character stayed. So, Kyoko was Kyoko was a fair fight. I was just looking at my fitting, uh, what cap I have, to see how long he can burn his MVD. Um, and yeah, pretty much he's confirming too, like he's burning into me as well. I'm flying with no implants, so if we would fly the similar fitting, it's most likely skill based movements, player skills and like gameplay skills. And my tactic was to get into his missile range and then fly away from him and he follows me. But it didn't work that well, he was getting way too far behind, so I pulled in. And here's the active character, which is kind of sad, I couldn't break him in the first clip, so I pulled range, but luckily I was in the right time with my scepter to come back, so I popped in on the ESS grid and got the point on the character with it. I missed year to reload Fury misses. Since it's a 50 man character, I will hit pretty much with a full volley. Um, I'm just reloading with my main and getting a tackle with my sec uh, with my scepter. Tapping up. And now I'm turning to get back in since I'm 
nearly reloaded. I didn't wrap my rapid lights good enough to heat and I didn't want to burn them out. But in that case, if I have heat left, I would probably got them. Yeah, I hoped he wouldn't have charges left on his ancillary. But yeah, after he started boosting, I couldn't break his tank. But he was luckily shooting my scepter. Uh, and my scepter can tank a calico clip, which is pretty nice. Maybe he shot the wrong damage type, I don't know. But yeah, my scepter's taking the biggest amount of damage here. And I reload Furies now. Um, focusing a bit on the scepter since he's under pressure. But you see, the character clipped out the too. I finally repaired my rapid lights while I'm reloading. Probably the most important thing to do on rapid lights, always reload, uh, always repair while reloading. And yeah, I'm burning back in range and I start shooting. Here fly, look at the arrow and fly in front of him. So I can be faster close to him. And yeah, he dies pretty quickly. I just saw the art one on the gate and thought I have 12 misses left. Um, I can kill him very quickly for that. Thinking he's a kill, of course. And the common one landed. And the Vagabond. The Vagabond is a class thing. The character probably one of the most dangerous ships for me on that crit. Together with the Manen, of course. I'm pulling range, looking up at his killboard to see if he already lost the Vagabond. And the last Vagabond he lost was the active one with the ED sheet booster. And he's doing 3-1, probably cold. I'm just lining out and warping. I'm desking the ESS and seeing there it's only a ejector now, which means I can directly warp back. I warped the scepter at the same time as my character, so you will see them landing at the same time. Ramming the ejector with my scepter. I can think like the 200 DPS of light missiles. I thought it was a light missile ejector because he was on such a high range. And yeah. I got him tackled and scrammed it at a point. So I am faster on the ejector with my character. Oh I, oh, I didn't even grab them. But yeah, rough glides have a huge range. So I start shooting. That one was close, but he's very slow for that one, so I think it's a AB fit. Just flying parallel to the jackdaws. Jackdaws are kind of slow, which means I can always keep up with them. 
and he's dying pretty quickly. But the vagabond is already approaching me. Uh, which is right, but I tried to go for the other one. Popped out sadly. The comorant would be a target, but it's behind the vagabond. So I decided to test the tank of the vagabond. Uh, it's all that I don't do much damage and it's not worth staying on crit with it. After one two minutes repairing up and reloading, I walked back on the grid and there was a huge blob, like tornado bug is vagabound. Pretty scary, so I directly aligned out. Or at least uh, burning out, not aligning out, and burning for the comorant, since the bug is pretty slow. If it's not snaked or linked. And the Vagabond needs some time to catch me. And yeah, the Vagabond is not directly heating, I think. And I just killed the Comorant and popped off. 